Um, next up, we've got a really exciting announcement, which could be big news for the community. Um, to make this announcement, I'm going to welcome to the stage Mike Schmidt from Brink. Come to the stage, Mike. Please welcome him to the stage. Over to you, Mike. Howdy. My name is Mike Schmidt. I'm the executive director of an organization called Brink. And our objective is to fund and support Bitcoin open source developers. We're a 501c3 organization. And obviously with Bitcoin 2023, you're going to have a lot of interesting announcements, product announcements, people building on Bitcoin, startups building on Bitcoin, layer twos building on Bitcoin. Um, we even have presidential candidates that are going to be talking about the interesting implications of what can be done with Bitcoin. And I think as a Bitcoiner, I'm excited about all that innovation. But I think it's important also to recognize that there is this piece of software that is underpinning the network and running the network called Bitcoin Core. And that's why at Brink, we're not building on Bitcoin. Our grantees are building Bitcoin. And, <laughs> and, and Obviously, there's a lot that goes into that. And so why did, why did Brink decide to do that? Why, why is this important? Um, how are we doing it? We have nine developers in five different countries that are all independent developers funded by Brink. Most of those are full time. Some of those are working in an office that we have in London. And they're all working to further secure the Bitcoin software. And what might they be doing? How, how can this impact an individual user of the Bitcoin network or perhaps somebody running their own node? Um, I think we would all agree that we would want the Bitcoin software that's powering all of this innovation on top to be better reviewed, better tested, better maintained, easier to run, and more performant. And so that's why at Brink, we fund grantees that are spending upwards of 50% of their time on testing and reviewing the Bitcoin core code, proposed changes to the code base, and basically making that software more secure. Uh, what about some of this drama lately with an uh, increase in fees? Mempools are full. Um, I'm sure some people have been impacted by that. And there's other potential implications of, of this situation as well for layer two technologies. And that's why Brink is funding engineers that are working on shoring up layer one Bitcoin so that some of these security assurances that we've promised that these other layers can actually fulfill on that. And in fact, Gloria, one of our grantees, had the foresight to start working on this problem and researching it and working on it two years ago. Um, and more broadly, I think as Bitcoiners, we would want more developers with a better pedigree working on the software. And so that's why at Brink, we fund development efforts around uh, education of developers and onboarding new developers. We have grantees that contribute to uh, a site called Bitcoin Optech, which is a technical news source. We have a, a weekly newsletter. We do workshops. Um, and we also have a technical podcast that we put out. And we have grantees com contributing to that. We also have grant grantees that are contributing in mentorship efforts. For example, the Summer of Bitcoin program, where there's interns that come in and want to work on open source software. Some of those folks may work on Bitcoin Core. And so some of our grantees have worked in that capacity. Similarly with Kala. And additionally, we also have grantees that run and uh, administer uh, something called the Bitcoin Core PR Review Club, which is a weekly meeting for younger developers to get sort of a tour of the code base and become more familiar with the Bitcoin software so that they can hopefully eventually contribute themselves someday. And so we think a lot of these efforts are, are really important. And we also have some sponsors that have also helped us out uh, in funding this effort. Um, so we have organizations like Lightspark, OKCoin, Coinbase, individuals like John Pfeffer, Wences Casares have all helped. Um, but we think we can take Bitcoin's decentralized ethos and we can open this up to even more people and, and fund this in a more decentralized way. We can have hundreds or thousands of people funding Bitcoin development. And that's why I'm excited to announce today a partnership with Marathon. 
Marathon is going to be doing a donation match with Brink up to $500,000 so that we can raise a million dollars for Bitcoin developers to achieve a lot of the outcomes I've outlined. So round of applause for Marathon. I want to, I want to bring out Fred, CEO of Marathon, to say a few words about the partnership. Um, we're just really happy to be able to support the Bitcoin core developer team. Um, it's really important for us that there is a vibrant and very active development effort uh, on core Bitcoin. We believe that it's the most secure protocol out there and we think we and the rest of the industry should be doing everything they can to support the developers and really foment as much activity in the space as possible. So a couple of important things, we're gonna match dollar for dollar, $500,000 worth of donations uh, that Brink receives uh, for core developers. More importantly, we will match two for one if you donate money during this conference. And so we're gonna... <laughs> so if you believe in the importance of supporting core development efforts and you believe in the importance of making sure that the developer community is vibrant in Bitcoin, then I strongly urge you, there'll be a QR code on the screen in a minute, take a snapshot, donate, whether it's 50 cents, whether it's a dollar, whatever you can, talk to others here at the conference, two for one during the conference, but we'll match up to $500,000 totally. So hopefully trying to raise uh, about a million dollars here. So please do what you can, we're really happy to be here and really appreciate the partnership. Thank you, Fred. So you'll, you'll see, uh, you'll see if they, there, there's a video that'll play now and also in some of the ad spots. It's a very uh, cypherpunk looking video that um, will play a, around uh, the, the event and also some LED screens outside as well. So if you're interested in contributing, it's all tax deductible, it's three to one, and uh, we appreciate your contributions. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Miami, for the last three years in this amazing city. The whole world shut down, but Miami welcomed us with open arms. We want to show Bitcoin to the whole world. We are taking the conference on the road to set the stage for Bitcoin in a new city. Nashville. Bitcoin 2024 is coming to Nashville in Tennessee, a city that is known as a music and freedom city. Bitcoin 2024 in Nashville from July 25th to 27th.